Hey guys, welcome back to more Paper Mario Football V5 in the last part. Um, what did we do last part? Oh yeah, we got into we started chapter four off and got into Shy Guys Toy Box, and we also dumped a train in there, um, a toy train. So now we can um, access more areas of the toy box than last time. Um, if you're wondering why I'm here, it's because we picked up a few of the uh, Toe Town Citizen stuff uh, last time, or only one really. The cake mix isn't a um, necessity. Um, anyway, sorry, bud. I had to close up shop, some shy guys, yeah, but I've heard of this all before. Anyway, let's give him back his calculator. Hey, buddy, isn't that my calculator? You're telling me you got it back from the shy guys? Yeah, in your face, shy guy, I can open my shop again. Oh, man, how can I repay you? I know, take this. This is a special badge board, so use it, over, so use it with care. An I spy badge, a sound and icon alert you... A sound and icon alert you to a nearby hidden panel. Dad says we would have gone out of business if we hadn't got that calculator back. We could have bought another calculator. We can open the shop again, all because of you. Thank you, mister. Um, right, okay. I don't think I've ever really paid attention to that badge that I got. Where are we? I spy. A sound and hit icon to... It, all right, does that make invisible blocks easier to find? Because if it does, that'd be very helpful. Uh, what could I take off? What's down there? A speedy spin. Um, no, I want that on. Uh, I suppose I can get rid of close call just for now. Okay. My TV volume's quite low though, so I might have to uh, listen carefully. Sorry, uh, a day's off for a moment there. Uh, thanks to you, I can finally open my shop again. Yeah. Okay. All right. So he isn't um, in business at the moment. All right then. So let's get back to the toy box. Uh, first off. Oh crap, I don't have one, do I? Right, okay, with this cake mix, if you go to, um, Taste Tea, I think it's Taste Tea, anyway, the cooker, the cook in here, um, if you give her a lemon and cake mix to cook, uh, you'll get a lemon candy. Now, you can actually bribe the anti guy, uh, to let you open that chest by giving him a lemon candy, um, instead of battling him, but you won't get fuckloads of star points if you end up bribing him because you won't be able to battle him afterwards. Um, so if you don't if you don't feel like battling um, and you want to bribe him instead, yeah, you can do that. Um, but otherwise, you have to fight him, and I will be fighting him. But like I said, I might be doing it after the chapter. Actually, I probably won't be doing it now because the, uh, the boss uh, from this chapter and uh, obviously other shy, shy guys and things give out quite a bit of star points here. So, all oh, right, so it makes us alert to a star piece being here, and I think the star piece is over there. Oh crap! No, um. Yeah, I think I know where it is. Oh shit, I didn't mean to jump on that spring. I think I know where the star piece is, so... Oh well. Anyway. Let's head out. Yes, alright, I get the point. Hang on, no, wait. Does that mean that there's gonna be a... Wait, hang on. Oh, I think it alerts us to things on the ground. Like a hidden panel around here somewhere. Uh, come on. It might be over there behind, uh, over there by that truck actually. Oh no, it's here. Oh well, that's very helpful then. Oh yeah, I'll be keeping that badge on then. Nice one. Okay, anyway, if you want to go to the red station, you have to click on or jump on this thingy here for the train to take you to the red station. Unfortunately, uh, the tracks are a bit fucked up over there, so we're not going to be going over there yet. In fact, we're going to be going to the pink station instead because everybody loves pink. So let's talk to the train driver. Yahoo! We're back in business! This train just dropped out of the- yeah, okay, what the fuck. What the book? Um, have you figured out which way you want to go? Please tell me again if you're sure that's the way you want to go. All aboard! Yes, I would like to go to the pink station. Nice one. We're leaving, all aboard! Right, so now we get a similar cutscene to uh, when we took the train to Mount Rugged. But not as awesome music and we have a very annoying squeaky sound. Next stop, Pink Station. Now we're arriving at Pink Station. Pink Station! What I do like is you can tell um, how far apart the stations are because sometimes the train journey like, takes longer, so... It's quite pointless, but at the same time, it's pretty cool. Station stop, Pink Station. Welcome to Pink Station, passengers. Right, so here we are at Pink Station, and we've got another hidden panel somewhere over here. I'll tell you what, that is very helpful. Okay. 
Let's talk to this guy. Some shy guy just ran off to the right with a frying pan. Oh, I bet that's... Oh, I just bet that he stole it from some innocent soul. And you know he doesn't really want to cook anything with it. Shy guys are so obnoxious. And scary too. With creepy faces. The faceless guy. Well, actually, no. I suppose in some games they have actually... Oh, we get the mailbag. A bag full of letters presented to the post office. I suppose in some games they have actually shown their face, but it's like Meta Knight. When he takes his max mask off, it's just like two red eyes. Anyway, it's safe here. I think there's a safe block in every station. I know there's a heart block in the red station, I think. Is there anything over here? Yeah, it's over here first. Oh my, Kami Cooper, you dense old fool. And we have Sky Guys here, and I thought I was going to be able to um, first strike him. And we have one similar to Bowser there, who's copycatted Bowser. What's that one called? A Medi Guy. Um, I, that makes me think he's a medic, especially because he's got a love heart on it. Um, anyway, a tip I heard from Game of Number 98, um, a good friend as always. If you actually stomp, uh, stomp, spin jump on uh, the enemies instead, um, I think you'd be able to do a spin jump first strike maybe, or do a bit more damage than just jumping on them. So, try that out. Might be a bit difficult to do, but yeah. I'll try it out in a minute. But, uh, you know, I'm not hardcore, so I can't do it. Probably. Don't know. <laughs> and we get a green shy guy! Yay! It's just your lucky day, Gavin. Right, um, I... For God's sake, why am I wasting so much up here again? I wonder what happens if you attack the balloons. I've never done it before. Well, obviously it's going to pop it, but still. And he loses his slingshot as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Do you have far to go for a level up? Oh, God, we're only halfway there. Right, yo. Let's continue down here. Uh, right, okay, another spring boxes. Bounce! And I swear, sure. Sure. So, shy guy, sky guy, okay. And um, what's in here? We got a Defend Plus badge. Decreases the mar damage that Mario takes by one. Uh, you also get a power... The chest that the anti-guy is guarding is actually a, uh, guarding a Power Plus badge. Uh, that takes up four FP and six in the second game, so... Good God. Oh, for God's sake. Three of them! Star Storm. I forgot how... Oh, I know I've said it before, but I cannot believe how convenient this star power is. It's definitely the best one in my opinion. Um, unfortunately we have to wait for it to charge up again now, but oh well. Shouldn't be too- Oh woohoo! 69 star points! We got no amount of coins for that. Right here. Everything's so colourful. What could possibly be through here? And where's he running to? Hello. Oh my! Right, so that's a clue to what we have to do. We have to head through here. Please. Oh wait, for wait from the open door. There we go. Right, okay. Bye bye. No, he didn't even try and attack us there. What's over here? Another coin. What did I know? And let's have a look. A nice power badge increases attack power against fire enemies by two. Well, we'll be. I will be wanting that because there are some fire enemies coming up soon. Uh, what am I not using? I'm not really using Quake Hammer in my hammer that much, am I? In fact, no, I'm not even using Power Bounce, so we're going to get rid of that and put on Ice Power. Wait, d does Spike Shield just... Oh, right, just lets you defend against him. I thought I did, like, more damage, but obviously not. And we get a Thunder, ball, a thunder Rage here. A lightning that strikes all enemies attack Power 5, so a weaker version of the Star Storm. you got a Frying Pan. Tasty's Frying Pan. Return it to her. Uh, we won't be doing that right now, though. We'll be doing that uh, when we have a chance to. Right, so let's head over to the other place. And how come we can get through that by ourselves now, but we couldn't before? That's it, Mario. I don't know why it's called a spin jump in this game. It's clearly a ground pound. 
and uh, good news um, on my point. Um, I might be have enough money to get the uh, Zelda Skyward Sword bundle. I heard that you get the uh, orchestra CD uh, either way, even, even if you don't get the uh, one with the Wii Remote Plus in. So hopefully that's the case. And oh crap, bloody hell, what's he doing? Are you supposed to be in disguise? Because you are not. Okay, so we have another Medi guy and uh, this dude, a spy guy. Obviously, he's in the middle of the path. That's obviously spying on me, isn't it? And he's got a hammer now. All right. I guess it's like tornado or robot wars, interchangeable weapon way. Weapon way. <laughs> I cannot say words once again today. I don't even know why I have so trouble pronouncing words sometimes. I think it's because I have so much to say. I just. That's me on my writing as well, though, because my writing is absolutely terrible. Thank God we're in a modern age where we can use computers instead. Right. What was I even saying? Oh, yeah, that was it. Um, did anyone here used to watch Robot Wars? Because if you did, oh man, I love you. I love that uh, show so much. In fact, I was watching it quite a few um, weeks ago. Uh, there's a channel called BBC Robot Wars UK, and another one for the Series 7 that lets you uh, watch every single series of it and oh my god I was in heaven and holy shit who ate all the pies okay there's nothing around here so let's talk to this fat guy everybody calls me gourmet guy I don't know why I'm just an ordinary food loving shy guy sorry I'm hungry uh, what does he want um, good god I've forgotten what he wants do you want some cake mix Obviously not. Ugh, oof, Bleh, that's the worst tasting food I've ever eaten. My delicate cut potato is too f refined to eat this stuff. I can eat only food of the finest quality, or I might gag. I'd rather starve than eat such inferior food as this. Well, what do you want? I've forgotten what he wants! I'm not giving him my Wacker's Bump. I know he doesn't want that. Uh, uh, let's see if we can go to another station, because there might be something around there we can eat or something. Maybe? Perhaps not? In fact, actually, do you think Tasty could whip us up something if we take a bite of her frying pan? You know what, okay then, I'll, I'll whip back to Tasty to see what she's doing. I'll uh, cut her head back to her house. I oh, know we can't go over there because the track's fucked up over there again. Oh, woe is me. Um, okay, right, here we are. Oh, hello there, hon. Thank you for coming to visit, but I'm afraid I can't cook now. I'm so sorry. My dearest old frying pan was stolen by a shy guy. It really burns me up. Oh Mario, oh dear frying pan, you saved it from the shy guys, thank you so much Mario. For that I'm going to make you something extra special. Please say that that fat guy will eat it. Tra la la la. Here's the cake, we got the cake. This is my most delicious cake, one taste of it will my late darling's heart. Whoa that's deep, I swore I would never make it again but you're very special Mario. Just one bite will make anybody go gaga. Oh, 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 we do not want, we do not want anyone going gaga. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what that's a reference to, but huh. I will never wear a meat dress, never. Uh, right, okay, I'll cut it back to um, gourmet guy. Okay, here we are, back at gourmet guy. I'm too hungry to move, yes, okay. All right, so that's even a clue to what you gotta give him. Thanks for giving me a clue before. Anyway, let's give him a cake. You, ew, mean sweet yummy cake. Oh, 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 delicious. This is lip smacking good. Finger licking good. Oh my God, I've never seen him run so fast. That was the strangest Mario, most Mario drugged up thing I've ever seen. Right, so he easily jizzed, and he jizzed out a cookbook, apparently. A book gourmet guy dropped, show it to a good cook. Right, so now after that, I think taste. Well, if you show Taste Tea that, she can actually cook you uh, two things then, instead of just one. Right, sit over here. And we have a gesture guy. Okay, that battle's unnecessarily long, thanks to the groovy guy, duplicating loads of fucking times. What's that guy? You got a pebble, a comment. What? The Why would I want that? Alright, anyway, another coin, what's in here? Better another coin. I better a hidden one here. 
Oh my god, I got it right for once. A dizzy dial. All right, I suppose we can use that. What's around here? Oh, another groovy guy. This is what I meant when I said that there comes loads of them. Oh, there's like three in every battle. Anyway, um, yay, I'm doing it. Mommy, look, mommy. Um, is there anything between them? Like there or there? Okay, now. Okay, here we have a power guy. There was a power guy in the uh, other battle I did a moment earlier. What the hell is he doing? Come here. Anyway. Oh god, there's four of them. Anyway, these are. If you put the ice power thingy on, these are really easy to defeat, but they all do have pretty high attack power, and Bo will not be able to touch them. So, we'll change member with you, Bo. And get out, uh, Cooper. Good old Cooper. We need someone doing. What do we do? We get Cooper out. That's right. Alright, we'll get rid of one here. So these things are really easy to defeat if you have the uh, ice power on, but they still do quite a lot of damage to you, so be careful. Right, now Cooper, take him out. Uh, after my turn. Okay, that wasn't too bad, and we're about to level up anyway, so uh, we don't really have to worry about um, HP or FP. Uh, right, what have I got to upgrade next? Um, I think I'm going to upgrade HP. I'm going a bit off the track here. I don't know what I um, upgraded last. I think it was BP. I probably should be upgrading FP by now, but I'm doing alright on FP at the moment. I haven't really I've come across a situation where I've been desperately low on it. Anyway, uh, we've got a lever here. Or a lever, or whatever. Anyway, if we do that... Holy shit! Alright, so ba let, let's head back to the train, so we can head off to the green station now. What's my cat doing? What are you doing, Max? Max, I can't play! Get off! What the hell? Did I get stuck then? Ugh. Alright, come on, back to the train track. Or the train station, or whatever you want to call it. Bloody hell, how long is it? Come on, I knew this place was big, but... I'll tell you what, it's good for I didn't take my speedy uh, speed dash off. Uh, speedy dash off. Ugh. Okay, anyway, uh, in this part we did what we did. We got the green track open, and why did I press the start menu? Um, and in the next part we're going to be going to the green station and seeing what we can do there. So, in the next part we'll be doing just that. So I shall see you, and what the hell's going wrong with my audacity? I shall see you then.